Welcome. My name is Harold Sigurdsson, son of Sigurd Seer. I am the King of Norway, the Thunderbolt of the North, the Varangian Guard. I am a brave, strong military commander. My aim is to unite thrones of Norway, Denmark, England, and the Isles to create the great North Sea Empire. Then... I will lead my great armies to plunder richest European cities such as Paris, Aachen, Cordoba, and Sevilla. I will not stop there. I will invade Italy and plunder its riches too. And finally, I will sack Constantinople. Our current capital is unfit for further development. Let's move our capital to Vestfold. It have its special building, Hedel Stave Church. Since we converted into Christianity for the sake of legitimacy to rule England, we have to build a great church to strengthen our religious ties. It is time to get married. I will search for someone with high diplomacy to support me to handle domestic and international issues. Ludmila Afgorm has high diplomatic skill, which is perfect for me. Also, she looks beautiful. She will give me many sons and daughters. I will pursue military education in order to better understand rules of war and management of the realm. I will establish hard rule by picking perks like serve the crown, hard rule, and absolute control. Later, I can shift my focus to Torturer Tree in order to increase my dread to ensure loyalty of my subjects. If I ever wish to invade Denmark, I have to kill King Canuot the Great. If he die, thrones of Denmark and England will be divided, so it will be easier for me to conquer them one by one. Let's create a scheme to kill him. We have not many supporters, but our spy network is very strong. Ludmila has arrived in my court. Let's ask him to assist me in court politics. This will enable me to increase my prestige and popular opinion. Also, let's order Jarl Sumarli to plan the development of my capital. The raiding season has come. This time we will raid Sweden. Let's prepare our raiding bands and invade nearby towns first, then slowly move into central Sweden. As I raiding in Sweden, a messenger brought me an important message. King Canute will visit Winchester to quell peasant rebellion there. This is a perfect opportunity to strike. He is dead, beaten by peasants. Ha! Never underestimate the power of the mob. And my agitators are all hanged, so nobody will know it was me who planned his demise. With his dead, thrones of England and Denmark are divided. 
England is ruled by four years old Harold, and Denmark is ruled by Svarthöfte, who is my brother-in-law. All my neighbors are internally weak. This is a perfect opportunity to push my claims on Denmark. Soon, I will prepare a strong army to invade the country. I have returned from Sweden with a great loot. Let's use it to build great gathering halls for our soldiers. These buildings will increase my prestige and control over my lands so I can recruit more soldiers to my cause. Let's build three of them in the Jarldom of Viken. Before invading Denmark and crown myself as the king, I want to raid entire country, so when the time of war comes, there is a little resistance to my invasion. Let's assemble raiding party and sail to Denmark. Another successful raid. Let's put our loot to good use. I will hire more Huskarls to ensure my army consists of professional soldiers. Let's station them on our capital. I had many friends from my mercenary days in the Roman army. Let's call them to service. Finally, by conducting numerous raids, I have gained the title of Viking. I will continue in my pursuit of raiding foreign lands until the end of my life. Let's assign commanders to my army before I invade Denmark. Osvider is a great candidate with his marauder and thug traits. I can increase my dread and prestige by his accomplishments. He will be my raid captain. And my second commander will be Bjarn Harder. He is a great tactician. He will be responsible for my military education. It is time to invade Denmark. I have claims on whole kingdom except for Skana region. We will move directly into their capital through Skana and descend on Sealand. Let's go.
We have sighted the enemy army commanded by their king. Let's pursue them. At last, I can pick hard rule perk. It will enable me to rule my vassals and subjects with iron hand. Now, I can be called Harold Hardarada. Easy victory. King Svartoft is my prisoner now. My hunger for blood is not seated yet. Let's find his ally and slaughter them too. Haha! -ha, you can't escape! Let's find and kill those weaklings. I will send my scouts to search for them while my men move into the open area in marching formation. They took up a defensive position at the top of the hill. Cowards. No matter though, my army will prevail. Archers! I will form ranks in standard formation. I will have my spear levies at the center, holding the enemy long enough to penetrate them from the flanks using my axe infantry. I will put my elite huskarls to the second line and use them when the time is right. Send Axe Infantry and Huskarls to envelope their center, now!
Their right wing has collapsed. Push forward! Push them back! Let's capture their leader! With these victories, we can enforce our peace terms now. The throne of Denmark is mine. Now, I rule whole of Denmark except for Skane region. We will capture it soon in order to form North Sea Empire. I need to hold Denmark for 30 years, and it has to be legitimate rule. Though I lack the funds to usurp the title and crown myself yet, soon, through raids, I will have such gold to legitimate my rule. Let's give lesser titles in Denmark to my champions. I will bestow these titles to increase my prestige, so I can call more warriors to my raids and conquests. Eilifer Kraka has high diplomatic skill, so he is a great candidate to be the Jarl of Yilland. Let's grant him the Jarldom. Torbjorn Tvari is a Norse champion with great stewardship skill. It is wise to grant him the title Jarldom of Slesvig. I will have Odense and Roskilde for myself, since those towns consist large area of farmlands.
Well, it is time to finish our first episode. In the next episode, I will enough gold to crown myself as the King of Denmark. In order to establish North Sea Empire, I have to hold it for 30 years. Additionally, I have to conquer Kingdom of England. Soon our raids into England will begin, and we will start taking lands piece by piece. Since the kingdom is divided, it will be easier for me to invade. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment below. See you in the next one. Goodbye.